So what happens when we have our unit charge, we do some work on it and we move it through a potential difference. And bear in mind, if we think of this as a positive charge, when it gets to the positive plate, and I've been doing work on it to get it to this point, as soon as I let it go, it's going to be a bit like uh, maybe a stone that's falling in a, in a gravitational field. This thing here is going to be repelled and it's going to move down towards uh, the other plate. As it does so, it's going to accelerate. And as it hits, it's going to have some kind of velocity uh, as it hits. And what we have is we've transferred energy from maybe this electrical potential into kinetic energy. Now the work done to get it uh, through this is going to be equal to QV. So that's the charge multiplied by the potential difference. Now this is all going to turn into kinetic energy by the time it hits the bottom. And we can say that kinetic energy is going to be equal to a half mv squared. Now the amount of work we do on it is the amount of, of uh, potential electrical potential it has at the start. And if that's 100% efficient, we can say that the work done all ends up as kinetic energy at the end. And therefore uh, QV is going to be equal to a half mv squared. What does that mean? Well, if maybe rather than having uh, something which is maybe uh, just a unit charge, if we had maybe an electron. So here we have an electron which has the opposite charge. This wants to be attracted to the positive end. So we can do work on the electron, we move it away. And as soon as we let it go, if it's free to move, it's going to accelerate towards the positive plate. Now the charge on the electron, we give the symbol E. Uh, this is the elementary charge of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And the energy it's going, we need to do to get it out there is going to be equal to E times the potential difference that we've moved it through. And this can then turn into its kinetic energy, which equals a half mv squared. And you might notice some similarities between this and our definition for the electron volt, which is uh, in one of the other videos that I've made previously. So that's the energy that it gains, the charge multiplied by the potential difference. And if we then release it, then this will then turn back into kinetic energy. Equally, if we apply a voltage uh, towards this electron, uh, perhaps it's down here, then we can accelerate the electrons by using this potential difference. And that's the basis behind loads of things like cathode ray tubes, cathode ray oscilloscopes. We basically have these particle detectors where we accelerate particles using a potential difference in order to give them some final energy or some final velocity.